All right, welcome everybody on YouTube and of course all the wonderful people here in Twitch chat. For our next deck, we have Teamer Vanifar that we're going to be trying here. So we're we're just a, a creature deck where we are trying to get Prime Speaker Vanifar in play and sacrifice some creatures to turn into other creatures and kind of go up the chain with that. Our main goal is to get Biogenic Oozes in play because this card has just been so, so impressive um, that we've played so far. Um, so uh, we also have like a top end of Carnage Tyre and Ravager Worm that we can turn Biogenic Ooze into those cards. So this looks like this is going to be a whole lot of fun. Um, so let's go ahead and try it out and see if this can work. Yeah, so Prime Speaker Vanifar gets exactly one CMC higher, and it can only be used as a sorcery, unfortunately. I really want to be able to use it and get, like, Frilled Mystics in play. That would be so nice. If you could, if you just instant speed Vanifar and, like, they cast something, you turn a Jade Light into a, into a, a um, Frilled Mystic, that would be insane. Squeeze is just a really good, good card to sacrifice. We sacrifice Squee to the Vanifar and get a Rekindling Phoenix. You know, we turn Squee into Rekindling Phoenix. Then we can replay Squee and turn that one into a Rekindling Phoenix. And so on. Life here gifting out five subs. Thank you so much. That gets some sub hype in the channel. Everybody get your favorite emote in the channel for Lifer. So congratulations to Vin Ethanol Home Mortgage Statement Origin uh, Origa Origami Master. That's Origami Master. I don't know why I missed that one. And TGBG and Crimson. And Johnny Stefani also with the tier one sub. That gets some hype. Awesome streamer, great magic community, keep it up. But thank you so much, Lifer. So that gets us to 15 with the, f the five gifted subs and also the sub, the extra sub that gets us to 15. So we got two more sub goals there. So we're opening up two packs after this. Thanks, Johnny Stefani, also for the sub. Ooh. All right, we got... Vanifar on turn three. And then turn four, we can play Branch Walker and turn it into a Jade Light. Or we can play Ooze. Oh man, next turn we could play Ooze and turn it into a Ravager Worm. Or turn it into a Carnage Tyrant. Either one. Thank you. Alright, let me finish typing out the tags and stuff for this Hidana Stompy deck so I can get this up on YouTube. Our opponent's not doing too much though. Ooh, Growing Rights of Itlamok. Okay, so we're playing against elves. Land? Ah, no land. No land. Okay, what are we going to do here? Let me finish this. I'm almost done. Alright, and publish. Okay. So we're going to branch walker. Oh, I guess I need to. I guess I need to respond with the branch walker, with the explore trigger on the stack. I need to respond by sacrificing this, just to get better explore value in. Let's get the jade light ranger. Ugh. Sorcery speed. Good call. Sorcery speed. Can't respond. Sorcery speed. 
<laughs> yeah, we got Hawkeye on the height boat. Alright, I think it's ooze time. I'll go and double block here. They can trade with either of those. Take a creature out to make their growing rights a little harder to flip. I'll trade either of these for a Thorn Lieutenant. Give me some oozes. Ooze time. Yeah, Hawkeye, it's ooze time. And Vanifar's an ooze also, so it's gonna start growing. You ooze, they lose. <laughs> That's it. We ooze, they lose. Oh, uh, Hawkeye, I know you want to eat my my peanut butter toast. Or my almond butter toast. But you don't get to. Yeah, I like it this deck already. Okay, so we're playing against elves. So I'm thinking we should probably have lava coils in our deck to be able to kill things. That seems reasonable. All right, and then Carnage Tyrant, Hellkite, not so necessary. Um, yeah, potting Phoenix into Ooze was really good, for sure. Um, Ravager Worm does get to fight things, which is why I kind of want to keep it, but I also kind of want to cut it because it costs six mana. Squee is meh, but Squee blocks. Blocking's kind of cool. But yeah, actually, honestly, we could probably cut Squee in this matchup. And then I guess one Ravager Worm. Ooh, Rex Age does kill Banner. That's true. Killing Banner could be really important. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. Takes a lot of mana, and it kind of have to jump through a lot of hoops for Hellkite to kill uh, things to kill Clan Caller. I think we just kind of go bigger than them with oozes. I think that's the that's the plan to go bigger than them with oozes. You should be packing right now. Nah, this is a better use of your time. I agree. Alright, Incubation Druid. Good draw. Night Owl. Ooze is bigger, is better than everything. Hmm. We have so many Vanifars. So little mana. What are you doing? Hey, you're trying to eat my toast. You can get out of here. Hey, down. Down. Okay. Well, I can't get to my mouse right now. Hawkeye okay, will attack me. All right, there we go. I got him. Ugh. He's just always so jealous if I'm eating food.
I think mono blue is a, the best budget deck currently. I just fed him whenever I just took a break just a little bit ago. Like he was just finished eating his food and then came up here and now he's just complaining about me having some almond butter toast. Yeah, maybe we need the Rex Age. I did not feed him toast. Um. Nothing for me to uh, lava coil really right now. Time to get the use. <coughs> Yeah, they can end raise me soon, but the thing is, is I can't really do anything about that. So it's just, that's just something that would happen. Wow, they are playing a lot of enchantments. Well, now I can't play another Vanifar or another Ooze. And that was my whole game plan. For the most part, I can still attack with the Flyer. Not out of this yet. Opponent doesn't have any creatures. To trigger Vanquisher's Banner. Maybe they just draw some lands in a row. We get to hit them with this Rekindling Phoenix. Hmm. Yeah, you think we should sideboard in the the rec Reclamation Sages? Yeah, so we have Rex Sages, Cinder Vines, Vivian. We have a lot of things that we could bring in here. Alright, Vivian Reed also in. Ravager Worm out. Exclusion Mage out. One Vanifar. And these Branch Walkers out. Our opponent is not likely to draw mono enchantments again. You know, it's likely they're going to draw their other part of their deck this game. Where there will be lots of creatures. Conclusion Mage man is the only answer to a what's his name? What's the mana dork that grows? Oh. Um. Marwin. Yeah, we have, we have coils.
<clears throat> yeah, so good hand. We got Druid on turn two. Rhythm. Rhythm is not great in this matchup, but the haste on like Vanifar and everything could be pretty sweet. Rekindling Phoenix with Rekindling Phoenix Ooze Vanifar. Like that seems like a really sweet engine where you just keep sacking your Phoenix and getting more oozes in play. That that's actually like I am really happy with that engine. Our opponent did keep a one lander last time. Hmm. So we can put like a counter on the druid with the rhythm and then it can tap for three mana. But it doesn't have haste, so it'd have to wait a turn to be able to tap for three mana. That's perfectly fine. I don't I really don't mind that getting tribunaled. It's perfectly fine. Okay, they have Beast Whisperer going, which is could be really bad for us, but we got Vandafar. Sack the new druid. And I guess we just go get Rex Age. We get Rex Age and destroy the Rhythm of the Wild one. I guess the rhythm of the wild one. Well, that's a gift. Certainly got a gift here. Their opponent tacked into that. Come on, let's draw some creatures. Come on, deck. Where's our creatures at? Ugh. Let's get a creature. Any creature just, like, have haste. That'd be cool. Or we could draw a Rex Age for that. Ooh, Biogenic Ooze? No, stop. Don't don't use my incubation druid to pay for it. <clears throat> hmm. 
I'll just go one one counter maybe. No, let's haste. No, I'm not getting into combat with that thing. Um, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can either attack for three or get another ooze in play. I'll just get another ooze in play. Oh yeah, I mean, I don't really care that that bad of the, like them using seal away for it. I mean, obviously I, I care, but I think attacking is better than just like sitting back and not attacking. I think. Hmm. So we need to hit a land with this Jade Light Ranger so that we can... Oh gosh, that's such a good card though. We need to hit a land so we can double... Well, I'm just taking that. If, if we hit a land, we could double ooze. We didn't draw the land though. But we get Rex Age next turn. We can destroy the banner, make all their creatures a lot smaller, and attack them for a bunch, and they're at six. If I haste, it was lethal. To be fair, I did not actually count if it was lethal or not. Did not actually count. Hmm. Yeah, it was not lethal. Yeah, no, it was not lethal. So now now counting it out, it's it was not lethal. Let's destroy, destroy this, get the Vanifar back, give Vanifar haste, let's sack a Rex Sage, go get Rekindling Phoenix. Hasty Phoenix. Oh, don't tap the Incubation Druid! Oh my gosh. Okay. I was worried about, you know, like they could have had like some kind of, you know, an overrun effect, like an Edge Rage Forerunners or something. Oh, we had lethal this time? The wild wasn't meant to be contained. No one knows the wilds like I do. Did we have more creatures? So they had... Uh... Three, six, seven. I had one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven. No, just seven and seven, because this was summoning sick. If I would have gave this haste, three, four, five, six, seven. They had seven also. No, I didn't have more creatures. Seven and seven. I did not. 
and a seven and seven. I was counting this Rex Age whenever I was counting up the math. I was counting like that the Rex Age could have had haste, you know, like it could have attacked with that too. Yeah, beating this Vivian's gonna be tough. Alright, so they have three, six, nine creatures, and I have three, six, eight creatures right now. Can only activate ooze twice. Which we have to do manually. Because otherwise I'll tap the incubation druid. These, oh, oh! see, y'all think that the tokens get haste. That's what y'all think. This this only does non-token creatures you control gain riot. I think that's what y'all are thinking. Whenever y'all are thinking that I have lethal kind of thing. I mean, that's why y'all think thought that I had an extra creature there. This game. Ugh. All right, we're on one, but our deck feels really, really, really cool. I really like what we got going on here. We've been on one before. We can win some some games in a row. Nope, no Zagana. No Zagana. I have not played an elf de deck yet, no. Hopefully we get the untapped green source here on turn one. That'd be really nice. Nope. Yeah, this is metric help. Help I'm alive. Well, mono blue beats up on these green creature decks. This is always one of my worst matchups. Especially one drop into Curious Obsession. That's too good. They're on the play with that. I'm already dead. Yeah, white weenie and red deck win and RDW beat mono blue. Yeah, the other the other aggro decks. Mono blue is really good at um, interacting with uh, the stack. Not so good at interacting with the the battlefield. If you can get down underneath the counter spells. If they don't have dive down, we have a chance that they do not have dive down. Yeah, no dive down. We have a chance. We can go get uh, the 4-5 that fights. Give that thing haste. 
Ravager Worm. Kill the Tempest Gen. Hopefully no dive down. It would be pretty surprising if they don't have dive down with all the cards in hand, but they certainly could not have it. Dang. Yeah. Yeah, Elf... Elf deck certainly gained a lot, and, I, and the Elf deck was not really that bad before, and it certainly gained a lot. Growth Chamber Guardian is a huge upgrade. Growth Chamber Guardian is just a really great card, just in general. Just a really great, great card. And I don't think Elf is the Elf deck is very is nearly as bad against control as. Some people in chat are saying that it's gets crushed by control, and I don't think it's that bad there. Um, this is certainly the matchup that hurts us for for me taking out Kral Harpooner from the the deck list. Yeah, Diego, you can. Yeah, so I guess. So I guess I, I did have lethal before. Take out Ooze, take out a Carnage Tyrant, a Vanifar, the Branch Walkers, Squee. I don't like mind playing Negate Vivian. Um no. We'll keep it like this. It doesn't matter if you sack the same sage or the other sage. It doesn't it doesn't matter. Your sage your sage has haste there. You just say give the sage haste, so it doesn't matter. This is a good hand. This is a real good hand. Get this Vanifar next turn. If they do put uh, Curious Obsession on the Herald, then I'll Exclusion Mage it. You know, they could of course have Curious Obsession plus Dive Down, which I really hope they don't. But they certainly could. Okay. Yeah, Golgari could st still be tier one. Yeah, um, you know. Gogaru will probably have to adapt because there's just a lot of new cards and everything. Um, but it has the tools to certainly adapt. Sorry, it certainly has the tools to adapt. Boom, boom. Please, no more Curious Obsessions opponent. Please, no more of those. Rage Harder with the sub. Oh, yeah, we have two packs to go get with our sub goals that we're going to get after this. I will now remember. Thank you so much, Rage Harder. That is 16 subs on the day. Hmm. Elves are bad against specifically sweepers, yes. 
But there's there's a whole lot of card advantage in the elf decks. And you can play things that don't die to sweepers. Like I think if you're playing elves, you should be playing four Vivians, for example. And Vivian is a really good card against control that like you play a lot of creatures onto the battlefield. They play a sweeper. You, they tap out for your sweep their sweeper, and then you get to um, resolve a Vivian. I'm not necessarily saying that elves is like favored, but they don't get crushed by control. Um, what am I doing with this Vanifar? I mean, I guess I'm just getting a Rekindling Phoenix next turn. I mean, I guess I have to do it during my turn. I can only activate it as a sorcery. I'm going to test the counterspell with the Girls' Chamber Guardian. Wow. I am really glad they didn't trickster the the Vanifar. Yeah, because they could have trickstered the Vanifar, because Vanifar can only be activated as a sorcery. Yeah. Sin Christ, it's okay. We're on an, a whole new match. We're in game two of the new match. All right, so we got to, all right, so we have like Reclamation Sage that we can use. Hmm. That's a problem. Okay, actually, I got an idea. Let's go get the Hellkite. Put a counter on it. And then... Uh, we can deal... On a two to this. They sack their Storm Tamer. Hmm. Or they don't sack the Storm Tamer. What happened to the Rekindling Phoenix token? Oh yeah, I don't get a token because of the because of the deep freeze. Right. Can you cast Spectacle at instant speed and why? You can only cast cards if they are instants, you can cast them at instant speed. If they're not an instant, you cannot cast it at instant speed. I'm so glad they did that. So glad they did that. If they just attacked with their Tempest Gin and made me block with the Hellkite, I wouldn't be able to Hellkite away their things. Um... So we go one and one with Storm Tamer and Herald. I 
And then we're going to turn a, a Jade Light Ranger into another Rekindling Phoenix so we can have a second blocker. We're kind of doing it. We still have this miscloak herald that's a 1-1 one, one unblockable. Oh my gosh. No justice. All right. We're dead. Tempest Gen's so good. All right, we went 0-2 with Team Ravanifar. Well, this deck was a lot of fun. I think I want to run it back. I think I want to try, try it again. What do y'all think? I think I want to run this one back. There are a couple close games. Alright, let's try it again. Um, I don't like the Carnage Tyrant. What, we, what could we replace the Carnage Tyrant with? Another Phoenix. I think Phoenix may be better than Carnage Tyrant. All right, I'm, I'm making that small change. Let's try again. All right, so Vanifar back to O and O. We went O two last league, but we're trying it again. Our mat, our games were really close. We lost to like elves at Model Blue, some you know like some uh, really linear creature decks, which could certainly see us losing those. But I like what our deck has going on. Oh, Dream Eater is really good. I could see playing a Dream Eater. In that slot. I really liked the Mardu Aristocrats deck. Um, it certainly needs tuning, especially sideboard. And I think it needs some tuning against other aggro decks. But um, it felt really good. I'm going to change the, the deck list here. Um, on stream decker, we're going to take out the Carnage Tyrant and put in a 4 3 Kindling Phoenix. Hit me for 2, and then second main, make it a 4 4. I like it. I like it. Good play, opponent. Keep doing what you're doing. Good things in store for you. Alright, that's updated. Oh, I didn't get the two packs. Hmm. 
So if I play Biogenic Goose here, it's... It, like, our opponent just has, like, Contempt, right? Like, they're just not even playing this. Like, they just have Contempt, and they're just going to Contempt this Guardian. At least that's their plan. I'm just going to pass and have the Adapt up. No, the Mardu block was not intentionally using... Not using old old stuff. No. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. That Jade Light Ranger had to go. One very, very small, minute problem about Growth Chamber Guardian is it's hard for us to get above Find Finality. Alright, I'm putting the Esper Super Friends up on YouTube now. Certainly looks like a fine finality. If they're making that block, they want a finality onto their growth chamber guardian. And like they're just not playing this one. Definitely seems like they're just wanting to finality. I really thought they were targeting Merfolk Branchwalker there for a second. Why are they just not playing their other Growth Chamber Guardian? Like, what are they doing holding on to that? It's gotta just be finality, right? To see what's left of Skull. The wilds are my shield. Alright, so it looks like they'll probably play the Guardian now. Yeah, I think it's gonna have to be Ooze time. Our deck in general is not very good against finality, I suppose. I'm a survivor. Um Do 
No! Dang it, I wanted to enter tapped. I just paid two life for no reason. That two life could certainly be worth, could certainly be useful. Meet my newest friend. Yeah, like they're chomping instead of trading, and they they just chomped with, like that guardian could have gone and found another guardian. That's a weird card to, to chump with. Certainly how they're playing makes me feel finality. All right, Biogenic Ooze, you're gonna have to do just everything. It's gonna be tough. This one Biogenic Ooze has to be a 6-6, six, six, another Growth Chamber Guardian, that Carnage Tyrant in their hand, this Vivian over here. It's gonna be tough. Oh, the Ooze is getting a little help. We got another Ooze coming up next. Come to me. Vivian is certainly the card that my deck is missing. Like, imagine if we had Vivian like this whole time, also. Vivian is very good. Uh-oh. All right, well, we're dead. I didn't replace Kaya earlier. We played Kaya. Yeah, some matchups we sideboarded her out. Like that happened sometimes. But she wasn't taken out of the deck. You can't stop nature. Alright, Biogenic Ooze. Gonna have to get there. I'd like to draw another Biogenic Ooze this next turn. Or a Rekindling Phoenix. Either of those. <laughs> Look at that small Carnage Tyrant. Like that card matters. Carnage Tyrant's probably the biggest loser from moving from last format to this format. I've never really seen Carnage Tyrant be very impressive. The big problem is our opponent has Vivian Ultimate. That's the big problem. Um, yeah, I'll just I'll just activate Ooze twice. Oh, I don't have the green mana necessary. Dude, a bonfire would be so good. Imagine if we just had... What if we just had um, that would Rivers Rebuke? Bounce all their you. things, just attack them for millions. Tyrant does be control, but... I kind of feel like the, lots of... Lots of cards in the format that have been... Printed also be control.
Hmm. I'm just gonna make sure the auto tapper doesn't mess up by just activating that first. All right, do we attack this turn? If I wait until next, yeah, I think we have to attack this turn. <laughs> nom nom nom. So yeah, we can't really wait till next turn because they can just do a lot of jump blocking. No, I don't like attacking them. They can just like take six or whatever. We have to. I think we have to attack Vivian and try to, like, because they need to save. Yeah, they need to use their creatures to block to block to be able to keep Vivian around. Wow, Again. they're letting Vivian die. Alright, that's awesome for us. Because we can outlast them, but we can't beat the Vivian emblem. Yeah, that, that might have been a misclick, yeah. They accidentally double blocked the six six, and they meant to they meant to chomp with the chupacabra probably. Could certainly see that. Uh, they drew a removal spell for the ooze. That's very bad for us. We need more oozes. We need more ooze. <laughs> Squeeze a really good card to sacrifice to Prime Speaker Vanifar. I should block with the Ravager Worm too. If they have like instant speed cast down or something like that, that's just a that's just a bad block in general. I should just block with the Ravager Worm as well. Why not block with Squee? I mean, they're. I don't know. Is there a reason? Like the Squee would have just also died. I didn't take any trample damage. It would have just been me cat pay three mana to, to play the squee the next turn. By throwing the squee in front, all that does is just just make mean that I have to tap three mana the next turn. If I would draw Biogenicus, I'd be upset that I wouldn't be able to just have the squee on the battlefield and not be able to play Biogenic and activate it, and also have squee in play. What do you think of Amulet Safekeeping for best of one ranked? Um, Amulet Safekeeping is not a very good card, but I don't, I don't play much best of one ranked, so I don't, I don't know. Uh, you say that 50, at least 50% of the decks are red deck wins. Is Amulet Safekeeping even good in that matchup? I don't even know if that card's even good in that matchup.
I mean, if we draw Biogenicus, we're fine. We're not just going to concede right here. We just need to draw Biogenicus. If our opponent starts attacking us, we're not going to win. But our opponent's not attacking us yet, so we're not we're not dead yet. They do have cast down. They may just yeah, that's true. They do have cast down. I was looking at chat. I didn't I didn't see the cast down they're drawing. There's no combo with Squee and Ooze. Squee is a good card to sacrifice to Vanifar. I think I want Negates here to protect Ooze and counter Finality. Yeah, I think we got a pretty good matchup. Oh yeah, Vivian's great. Yeah. So negate Vivian. Branch walker out. Exclusion mage out. Set so 64. Why is there no Carnage Tyrant? Because it's not a very good card. Um... Sixty four. I'm playing three negate. All right, sixty Alright, back up to Fording Gate. Yeah, Wilds is, is not amazing. Best thing he does is gives Vanifar haste. Ugh. Have you played with the 4 CMC untapped land enchantment yet? I have not. I have not played a Wilderness Reclamation deck, no. So all shock lands. Yeah, we do have a lot of lands with all the mana creatures. I mean, I think I think it may just be better for us to have more ways to use the mana, like basically like with Vivian. Like this just should be a Vivian deck. I don't think Zagana is better than other cards in the deck. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really think we need Zagana in this kind of deck. I'm saving the negate for um, for Vivian or Finality. I'm just attacking my opponent right now. Negate doesn't, does, of course, does not stop Ravenous Chupacabra. It's going to be a card here. If they have... Um, they had Contempt, I could have had Negate for it, but oh well. They did not have a land. Alright, if I attack with both and they block Jade Light. I 
which they did not. <laughs> yeah, I like Sylvan SO. I like this song a lot. Yeah, up next is going to be Just Guy Legends. Oh, I didn't adapt on their turn because I thought they were going to have um, thought they were going to have a cast down with how they played that. I was expecting a cast down, which is why I didn't didn't adapt on their turn. DD stands for a donation deck. It's a deck that somebody donated. <laughs> yeah, six more hours for our twelve-hour stream. We're halfway through our standard streaming for the day. Yeah, the oh on my turn while they're tapped out, I wanted to have negate at that point. Um, I wanted to pass to them with a the negate available, and if they would have tapped out, then I would have adapted, but they didn't. So then I just went back to my turn. Yeah, right underneath you, Night Lion, uh, where decks, that's where you find all the decks. You can find that there. Uh, Streamdecker.com slash decks slash Todd Stevens MTG. Going to play a Gruel deck today. Not looking like it. Um, but certainly, certainly possible. So we are we're currently 0-0 in this league, and we are going to game three. Our opponent is sideboarding. We are, uh, we're going to be on the draw here. Um, Stony strength is not playable in standard. No. No, it's that's. No, it's not playable in any standard deck. Um, have you thought on wilderness reclamation cards to play with? Uh, not a whole lot. I haven't really thought too much about wilderness reclamation. Um, I like. I've been liking Frilled Mystic. I've been pretty impressed with Frilled Mystic. Um, that could be like a cool card with Re Wilderness Reclamation. <laughs> I don't like. The chances of a 40 per persistent petitioner in 20 island deck doing well. Yeah, uh, Mardu Aristocrats. I think the deck's worth crafting. It it needs it still needs tuning. Um, we did well with it, and there was a lot of good good things that felt felt pretty good about it. Um, but it it is going to just need more more tuning for sure. Like it, yeah. But I like what's going on with the deck. This is the traditional constructed league. Where you play best two out of three, you play until you have five wins or two losses. That Midnight Reaper is going to be really difficult for me to beat. That's certainly a reason for me to play Lava Coil for that Midnight Reaper. If you drop white from Aristocrats, you're playing a different deck. You, 
Like, you know, it's not an aristocrat deck anymore. You you just play Rakdos Aggro. You know, you wouldn't play Gruesome Menageries. You could play Spawn of Mayhem instead. You just play a, a different deck. Um, but yeah, Rakdos Aggro is certainly a deck you can build. So they have two cards in hand. Um, I'm willing to just play the Biogenic Ooze right away. And get this going. It's not clear that they'll have a removal spell for it. Doesn't seem like they have double black if, if they have Chupacabra or Grass's Contempt. And I guess they did not have the double black. Krogo, thank you so much for the support there. I really do appreciate it. Says the my full-time job and so I really do appreciate everybody here watching everybody subscribing all that kind of stuff our opponents attacking with Midnight Reaper which has to mean that they have they have finality they want to put it back in their hands I don't know what this attacks all about Um, this is the Esper list we played. And that was... It was not a deck that I made. It was a donation deck. Yep. We're going to get the two packs. Hmm. That's rude. I wonder if they found the cast down like off of the card that Midnight Reaper gave them. Need more Biogenic Oozes or Vivians. Vivians would be awesome. Hmm. I guess I need to adapt to the Druid. You're right. That's a huge problem. What can we really do? <laughs> Carnage is not that good of a card. That could just be any other like six star, which just finality is just messed up. Finality is ridiculous. Carnage Tower could be any other finisher here, it's just finality is unreal. But it is getting back at me for saying that. It was hitting me for a lot of damage. Yes, to see to see all the deck lists, exclamation point decks. That's why, as you see up here, it says today's exclamation point decks. So that's how you see the decks there. You type in exclamation point decks. And that's where the decks are at.
the ones that are updated with Ravnica Allegiance are the ones from yesterday and today. There's a lot of decks previous to that also. Those are not updated with Ravnica Allegiance. We haven't been drawing Vanifar, that's for sure. I'm liking this format a lot. I I like I really like Growth Chamber Guardian and uh, Biotenic Ooze. I'm having a lot of fun with these two cards. Hadana Stompy lost to a couple of the aggro decks. It lost to like Mono Blue and Mono White, I think. Something like that. Mono Blue is one of them. Um, I don't, I'm not in love with Rhythm of the Wild. We have the one in here that we have had like Hasty Vanifar once. It was really nice. I don't really like uh, Biomancer's Familiar. I don't think it's better than other uh, cards in Standard to put in your deck. Well, that's that's not true yet. We we certainly lost with we lost to elves with like the only time we had rhythm of the wild on the battlefield for multiple turns it was against elves and we lost. Hey, Dovin, that's not a bad one. I have I have not tried out a glint pirate deck. What's what's the glint part of glint pirate deck? So trading their Seraph plus like a cast down. Whoa. All right. Wasn't the quite expecting that one. Unfortunately, we drew another Growth Chamber Guardian. That was a real bad draw step for us. Because um, then you know we have one less to go get from our deck. Oh, it's Teamer. Teamer Pirate? Yeah, that's that's Teamer. Yeah, I've actually I've never heard that glint phrase either. Well we would have the Ravager to fight the Dawnbringer, but we don't have the mana. Graveyard. I'm too busy streaming to report bugs, but exile all creatures in all graveyards that were put there from the battlefield this turn. Yeah, so the Seraph, the Seraph and the Phoenix should be exiled. Bunch of angels, huh? Let's get these Vivians that kill angels. Um, Coil is really good against some angels. Not all of them, but some. I think it's worth it to have in the deck here. Uh, let's see. Squee comes on out. Squee will cut some branch walkers. Exclusion Mage just bouncing an angel. Um. Hmm. Hawkeye doesn't seem like it matches up against angels too well. Hmm. 
Yeah, we could fight. We could have fought Dawnbringer with the Ravager Worm, but we were still going to die to the um, the res the Resplendent Angel there. Um. Yeah, we have Lava Coils basically instead of the Hellkites that can also kind of deal with some of their angels. No, yeah, yeah, you can you can certainly link that to MTG support to arena support for the bug. Yeah, absolutely. If you'd like to. What do you think of Is it Drake's right now? I think it's good. I, I like Tyramander a whole lot. Um, it's a difficult. It's a. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Um, I think you know you have to like make sure like with Is it Drake's you got to be worried about the aggro decks for the most part. But yeah, it has lots of really good cards in it. Speaking of YouTube video, I'm go, gonna go ahead and get this one started. Hmm. I thought that was rootbound crag whenever I just saw it right away. So I cost myself two life there, but that's okay. And I'm attacking with Phoenix here. Wow. Hmm. Well, regret that attack now. Regret all that. Wish I would have just played Lava Coil and the Resplendent Angel and save Ravager Worm and just not play the Phoenix. And then they duress and they don't hit anything. Basically everything's just worked out horribly for me in this game. Yeah, every decision I've made has been just wrong in this game. Should have lava coiled. Should not have not attack with Phoenix. And deck, it's not helping out. No, I've not tried Hydro Crisis. Hmm. All right. So it seems like definitely seems like maybe uh, too many lands here for our deck. We were flooding out quite a bit in a lot of games. Um, the Phoenix Vanifar Ooze Engine is pretty awesome. But honestly, this deck just needs Vivians. Rhythm out, Vanifar out. So I think this deck just needs Vivians and Lava Coils in the main deck. Just needs the interaction in the main deck.
Um, Let's see, which one of these lands, I guess it'd just be basic forest. Yeah, I just like the land to take out. Yeah, 24 lands is enough. Um, yeah, like this is like a, a very, like that was, you know, like a very first try of the deck. Um, Find finality is a huge problem. Pax, good call, good call. Is there any other good three drop that I'm missing? Like, is it just Reclamation Sage? Like obviously, a sideboard need is going to need a lot of work, but I think just putting coils and Vivians in the main deck. Um, I want things that like have ETB effects that we get to go sacrifice and put that we can sacrifice to Vanifar, but maybe not. Maybe. District Guide or uh, Rejuvenator. Maybe just Rejuvenator that can get us to our five drops a little earlier. No, we don't need to be red. Um, I like Phoenix a lot, though. I like Lava Coil, but I don't know. I think I'd maybe kind of go with something, you know, kind of go build on like these, those cards right there, like Phoenix, Vanifar, and Ooze, and then also Vivian Reed. Like these cards are all all-stars and they all work really well together. And that's, that's like where I think you want like the, the main engine coming from there. Um, so yeah, Death Court Scavenger can be neat. Thanks, Will. Thanks for the nice words there. Yeah, Bugler is is really good with Vanifar and Ooze. The problem with Bant is there's not good... The problem with Bant is there's not really good four drops to uh, Vanifar into with Bugler Ranger. Like, there's like what's the four mana slot besides Vanifar? Because you're not going to Vanifar your Bugler into a Vanifar, of course. So... You know, like red has Phoenix, which is really nice, and like Phoenix works really well of getting with ooze, and then the Phoenix comes back, and so on. Um, Soltai, absolutely. Soltai has a lot of good things. Uh, Soltai, you get uh, Ravenous Chupacabra and Hostage Taker and Find Finality. Soltai is actually is probably just the the way to go with this kind of deck. Um, but it Soltai is just kind of a, a whole lot like. Uh, you know, green, black, uh, mid range. And so that's why I don't really want to play Sultai immediately. But yeah. Sultai is, is probably the best color combination here. Shalai, but you don't, you don't want to sacrifice Shalai for ooze though. That's, that's the thing. Shalai is not a card you want to sacrifice. River auger. River auger. Now that's a card. Now that's a card. That's pretty interesting. That's pretty interesting. But yeah, this is what I would change the, the main deck to. Uh, sideboard, of course, we'd have to add in a lot more things. And we can add in more things against... Uh, against like mono red or mono blue we certainly need more things against mono blue like we need like harpooners in here now we got slots
Um, get fourth Vivian. Maybe a couple frilled mystics or something like that. No, you can't you can't use the pods only as a sorcery, so you can't actually pod into Frilled Mystic. I really wish you could. Um Plockworm just costs so much mana. No, I haven't played a Wilderness Reclamation. Next is a Fate Deck. Play like a Crowl Foragers. Another Cinder Vines. Maybe the deck plays one. Maybe the deck plays one River's Rebuke instead of the Forgers. And the sideboard against permanent base decks that are going to stall out. Okay. So if you're watching this video on YouTube, um, thank you, of course, for watching. I uh, hope you learned a lot with the Prime Super Vanifar deck, and we'll be trying it out again, you know, later. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.